Hey guys, Chris with Baitum 907 again. Uh, we're here for an, uh, yet another how to set up a bear bait stand. Um, we've got Tyler here. He's got our bear bait yo-yos uh, yo that we talked about in the first video. Um, and what he's going to do is uh, just kind of get them attempt. He had to get them flung up into a tree somewhere. Um, that string will kind of wrap around um, a tree. And it's organic too. So. Yep. It'll it'll melt. It'll melt out and it'll be gone. Um, the birds actually really love this stuff too. I, I this one of the top uh, eaters of that. That yo-yo right there is I see a lot of little like finches and gray jays will come up and they'll steal that stuff. Um, and then they'll take the string, um, and it's just yarn, um, some twine string. Then they'll take the string when they're done with it and they'll put it into a nest. So um, if you're worried about cleanup, the nature kind of cleans that one right up for you. It's really nice. Um, everything loves them and they smell real good. And that, that's just one more product um, that helps keep scent real high up and blowing in the wind. As you can see, the trees are already kind of moving around a little bit maybe a five to 10 mile an hour breeze in here. Um, and it'll just help carry that scent miles and miles. Um, there's a creek that you can't see cause it's thick in here, um, maybe 200 yards from here. Um, and this scent will blow through the trees and hit that creek and it'll just go for miles. Um, and bears can smell really, really good if you were not aware of that already. Um, so go ahead and give it a shot, man. Right. See if we can get them flung up there. We failed. Nailed it. <laughs> Two feet off the ground. <laughs> Not where we wanted it. Nobody said we were pros. There it is. Now they're hanging. There's one. You can kind of see it up in there. And that stuff will just stick around for forever until the birds finish carrying it off. Zip. She shoots. She scores. There she is. All right. That's pretty much it for our setup today. Um, hope you guys learned a little bit. It, it's, there's a lot of trial and error and bear bait uh, from right down from site selection um, to kind of how what products will work for you <clears throat> as well as, uh, you know, kind of what the bears in your area like. Um, I fell into a nice hole there. The snow's probably waist deep, even with snowshoes on. At any rate, like I said, there's quite a learning curve that goes with it. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, again, go to baitum907.com. Get yourself some amazing, smelly good bear bait products. Um, your post office might hate your guts for a day or two, or they might love you. It smells, it smells really good. Um, but it will, it will fill everything you own with scent. Um, finally, before we check out, if you recall, we set up a burn earlier. Um, we're just going to hang out while this cooks down, and now you can see it's, it's smoking out of there. Um, it's bubbling up. And this will just keep burning that sterno that's down there. That little chafing dish heater will heat this stuff for about four hours or so. Um, and depending on how much stuff you have in there, it might stick to the bottom a little bit. But like I said, it'll, it'll turn into like a little bit of a candy. And you can scrape it out and add it to your barrel and they'll eat it. If it's still liquid, what I like to do with it at the end of the day when it's still liquid is toss it up into the trees um, or out on the ground. And just it smells. It'll stay around. It's got a lot of oil in it. It'll stick around for a long time. So again, uh, thanks. To, whoo, I'm falling in the snow here, guys. Uh, thanks to Beta 907 uh, for providing us all this stuff. Um, they make a wonderful product, and uh, we're ready to get some. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye, Tyler. Yeah, good luck this season, guys.